Hey there everyone, how are you? It's a beautiful day in Los Angeles. I've got a cool garden wall behind me. Have you guys ever seen a garden wall? Well, I'm here high atop the Hollywood Hills at a new listing I just signed about 10 days ago. A really cool house and we're doing a broker's open today. So I thought I'd give you a little tour and show you around this amazing and exceptional property and the incredible views today here in the Hollywood Hills. So let me flip over the camera first of all. So cool plant wall. I love these. These have become a really cool new trend here in Los Angeles, uh, particularly for confined spaces or indoor spaces. It's a living wall. So these plants are all alive. They're all uh, fed in with automatic waterers, watering features. <laughs> hey there, Lana. Hey, Shannon. How are things in Hawaii? So we have this cool garden wall, which is great. No maintenance. And these are all succulents, which are what we're supposed to be planting here in California to keep us from the drought situation but it's pretty cool right and it leads to this wonderful wall and this beautiful rooftop pool but take a look at this i mean this is what la hollywood hills living is all about hey there doug i know it's a little bit different than the snow you had yesterday <laughs> i would trade one snow day for a sunday anytime so anyways so this particular property is on a street called franklin avenue and down below, well, actually this is the part of the Hollywood Hills. So you can see the Hollywood Hills there. Um, oh, you, I don't know if you can see way over there. You can't really see it, but there's the Hollywood sign. And then over there underneath the snow-capped mountains is the Griffith Park Observatory. And then that's downtown Hollywood. All that little cluster of buildings kind of right in the middle. That's downtown Hollywood. And there's downtown Los Angeles. So let's take a look a little bit more of the view. So it's really cool and rare to have a rooftop pool in the Hollywood Hills. Um, not a lot of land up here, so it's hard to find that. And contrary to what some comments have been on Facebook and YouTube, this house is built into solid bedrock. So as you can see, this house was literally carved out of the rock. And uh, I believe they spent well over a million dollars in just carving out the rock and pouring the foundations for this house. So this is the rooftop pool deck, which is really cool. And again, no matter where you turn, it's like a 280 degree view. Again, the hillside, downtown. Hey, Catherine, hey, Lori, how's everybody doing? Catherine, you got snow in the UK? I think my friends in London said they had snow yesterday. And we continue across to the west side of Los Angeles. So over there, those Western Hills, that's Pacific Palisades in Malibu. Then the other cluster of buildings way in the background, that's Brentwood, Santa Monica. Then the big cluster there kind of in the middle, that's Century City. And then of course the ocean behind. A Little bit hazy today, but still pretty darn cool views. Hey there, Andrea. Hey, Carol. Nice to see you all joining. Thank you so much. So one of the cool things about these rooftop decks, it's made of stone. However, the stone has a permeable layer beneath, which collects the rainwater and drains it and collects it. And this house is a greenhouse and the water is collected to be reused and recycled for um, water conservation, which is important here in LA. So that was the rooftop pool deck, which is the top level of the house. This is a second entertainment deck, which also offers you amazing views. So here we are. Hey there, Paul. Hey, Regina. How are you? So again, more beautiful views of the city. And I love this glass fire pit. So you put the gas on and the flames come up. You have a wonderful sitting lounge area. And let's just sit for a second. Since this is a live video, we can do them longer. So we just kind of sit here on the sofa and enjoy the beautiful views. And then, of course, the fireplace at night. So if you watch my video, the full video coming out in a couple days, you'll see this all lit up at night with the flames overlooking the city. And it's so quiet here, right? And what's interesting is if you look down, the buildings down there, that's Sunset Boulevard. And we're literally a two-minute drive from Sunset to this house. You turn off Queens Road, you go up two blocks to Franklin, and you make a left, and you're here. So this is the second entertaining deck which is off of the mezzanine level. You have a dining area, you have the sofa area. All these plants are automatically watered, so you don't have to think about it. So it's a great kind of a condo alternative. And this is the mezzanine level. 
with uh, Fleetwood doors. So basically all the house has Fleetwood doors, which basically slide and glide to give you this kind of indoor outdoor feeling, which is great. Uh, this house is uh, four stories of living and it does have an elevator that goes from the garage level up here to the mezzanine level. So if you don't like to walk stairs, you don't have to. And, but look how beautiful the architecture is and the style. This is the two-story um, mezzanine. And it takes us down to the main living area, or what I call the grand room, or great room. Really cool modern kitchen. These are all tile floors. You have a beautiful Carrera marble center island. Wonderful kind of gray khaki colored lacquered cabinets. Beautiful white Caesar stone all around. All the appliances are Miele, stainless steel, everywhere you look. And so when you're in the kitchen here, you're overlooking the mezzanine level and you're overlooking the kind of the great room. And there's Marianne, say hi Marianne. <laughs> and uh, so big kitchen, two story ceilings. Do I have to feed the dog? I don't feed the dog. I feed my dogs, Paul, but not this dog. The dog's name is Charlie, and he, he went out for a little bit. So this is the main great room with the kitchen area, dining area, and living area. And that's kind of how people like to live today. Uh, we have a powder room here for guests. Very modern. And a beautiful spot for your TV. Lots of lights. It's a full smart home system with all the controls on the iPad. So you can control the lighting, music, sound, uh, electronic shades that roll down. And once again, from the living room here, you have beautiful views of the city as well. And this mezzanine terrace area, which also has the pocket, uh, pocket Fleetwood doors. So quiet, beautiful views, and overlooking your great room. The elevator does come here as well. So let's take a look down at the bedroom levels. So there are two levels for bedrooms. The level directly below the great room is the master suite floor, so it's all master. This is the deck for the master. Beautiful, nice deck. It's privately accessed from the master bedroom. Once again, we have our elevator that comes through there. And this is the master. Really, the architect and designer did an amazing job. It's S Group Architects, and uh, Franco Vecchio is the interior architect and designer. So we have beautiful views, once again, from the master bedroom, uh, completely hidden kind of, these lacquered cabinets along the wall with the TV. And then here we have the views and the access to the deck area. And here you can see the views. So if you're actually sitting in bed, get a nice view, and especially at night, it really sparkles and twinkles. Beautiful bathrooms, they're very mod and, and clean and light and open. So you have all white Thassos tile, beautiful white counters, walk-in shower. And separately there is a full walk-in closet behind here, which I'll keep private, but a full walk-in closet, aside from all the built-in closets there along the wall. So again, this floor just directly beneath, and I love the floating stairs, and if you notice, but the stairs are actually individually floating, so they're only connected on one side, so they're just basically floating through the air, and you have the glass on the back. So uh, again, great room above. This floor directly below is the master bedroom. And the way the light comes in through the house really gives a lot of architectural details and, and design, which is very cool. On this floor, there are two bedrooms. They did convert, not really convert, but they're using this bedroom as a office. So you can see it's a nice office. And again, built-in cabinets and closets. And then this has another balcony deck area here, which we'll see from the other room. And this is the bathroom for that office bedroom. So it's got a full three-quarter bathroom with the walk-in shower, rain, everything you can think of. Again, it's a brand new construction. This was completed in 2018, end of the summer. And um, the owners are living here currently and it's really quite beautiful. So this is the third guest bedroom. So again, we saw the master above, the office, which is a third bedroom. And this is the, I guess, second bedroom. This is the second largest bedroom. And this one also does have a private deck here from this room. Once again, more built-in closets. And you have a nice, again, modern shower, bathroom area, 
It's very mod. It's, it's kind of like living in a modern hotel in New York. It's got a very New York vibe, very hip and mod. We saw that bathroom there. And now we're going to go down to the entry level. And I'm kind of going in reverse, <laughs> but kind of changing it up for a change. So this is our entry level. And what's also unique about this house is a lot of times you can't find parking in these homes, meaning you have a beautiful home, but um, there's no parking. So this is the entry. You come in from, I'll show you. This is the direct garage. So aside from the second garage, this is the main garage. Direct access into the house. It's of course fully alarmed, all of that. Beautiful entryway. There's the elevator, laundry room behind, but nice entry. And then you have room for two more cars, and these are some pretty cool cars. Let's give you another look of that. There we go. So when you come on, oh, let's start from the outside. Let's do that. Here we go. Okay, so here we are looking at the facade. Can't see too much because at my level, you can't see too much. So there we go, going all the way up. The drone footage is much better than just the single camera footage. So we have the one car garage on the left and we have the two car kind of garage carport on the right. And um, so it's cool. So you come on in. It's all electronically coded, meaning electronics to get in the doors, electronics to get into everything. It's a fully electronic house. And then you have room for two cool cars. This is a cool house. So you need cool cars. And you come in. And a lot of people today, if you look at some of the condos being built, they're building these glass garages and these penthouses so you can showcase your cars in the house. So it's kind of the same thing here. You have the cool cars here to showcase in when you walk in. So it's pretty cool. So that's my little live tour today of 8693 Franklin Avenue. This house is listed for 3890000 It's over 3,200 square feet about two minutes from the Sunset Strip and brand new 2018 construction. Thanks, Bonnie, for watching. Thanks, Liz. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Yeah, the views are amazing, aren't they, Liz? Hey, Juan, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Give me some hearts and likes. If you like this, please share it with your friends and um, show people this cool Hollywood Hills house. And in the next couple of days, we'll have the full uh, professional video to show you uh, showcasing this amazing property. Okay, guys, see you later and have a great day. Bye-bye.